I've been making benchtop plastic injection moulding machines like this one for quite some time. They're for sale. There's a link in the description. Um, but there is a need to make very accurate holes in some of the parts. Up until now I've been using a milling machine to do that and it can do it very accurately using the dials with a travelling bed. But um, that milling machine is no longer available to me so I've needed to come up with another way to do it. I need to hold the part perfectly upright and I need to place the hole in the right position and the right orientation. And I need to be able to do it consistently and repeatedly. Well this is what I came up with. It's a 3D printed part. It's a drilling jig. You push the part into the hole in the middle until it meets the, uh, the step inside there. Um, and then the holes on the left and the right tell you where to put the, um, the drill and the flats on left and right enable you to stand apart on the drill press table. Consistent results, no measuring, no need even for a clamp. Well, this is the physical realisation of the jig. And this is the part which is to be placed inside the jig for drilling. The fit is very carefully engineered to be tight. The problems you're seeing here are because of um, printing blips around the holes on either side um, where overhangs, minor overhangs have occurred. But once this part was placed in and removed the fit was extremely good after that and it does need to be a tight fit. It can't really move inside the jig or it won't work properly. So once the first insertion problems are overcome there it is, a beautiful, really snug, tight fit. Perfect. Here I'm just selecting the right countersink drill so that the shank is a snug fit in the hole in the jig which will align uh, centrally. So here we go then, drilling the centre drill hole. The head cam isn't ideal here, sorry it's a bit chopped off. but. Um, there it is. I'm just using uh, a torch here to see down the hole because the jig makes it a bit difficult to see whether I've gone deep enough. It's only a centre drill hole so I don't need to worry how deep it is exactly, it's just whether it's up on the chamfer yet or not. Well then it's on with the drilling proper. Uh, this is an M8 hole, I think it's 6.3 millimetres tapping size. I'm happy with the safety aspects of this. I haven't got it in a vise. Um, I'm hold hand holding it, but it's a large part. It's a small drill. Um, it's smooth material I'm going through. Um, so I judged that the chances and consequences of it kicking around were small and small. Um, but um, I'm interested in your view if you have a different one. So we're through fairly uneventfully um, and it, it looks like a nice hole. I'm using the same drilling jig and drill press combination to tap these holes to make sure that everything remains nicely aligned. It's a bit cumbersome. I'm having to raise the drill press um, bed uh, in order to keep up with the tap as it advances into the part. It's not ideal, but um, it's adequate. Anyway, I won't bore you with the rest of that hole. And for the larger hole, I took the whole jig over to a vise and finished the tapping operation there with a hand tap um, after having established the the perpendicular hole and it worked really well. Annoyingly I haven't got any images for you of the perfectly drilled and tapped part but it was perfectly drilled and tapped so I'm really really pleased with this technique. I've dispensed with the milling machine um, and I've got a bit of plastic instead and you don't even need a vise, there's no setting up except to put the part in the jig. If anything I'd say it's even better than the milling machine, in fact it is better than the milling machine um, 
and it's um, it's, it's easier and faster. Um, unfortunately, you do destroy the jig in the process, but I have a fiendish plan. Um, I, I could just reprint them. They cost about 40 pence each, but they take about three hours to print. But that's entirely doable for each machine. However, if people do keep buying the, the plastic injection moulding machine, then I will um, modify the jig to accept stainless steel inserts cut from bar stock with different sized holes. So you'll put the um, centre drilling insert in to uh, line up the centre drill, then you'll take that insert out and put the main um, main drill jig hole in, insert in, and then drill that hole. And in that way, um, one 3D printed drilling jig should last indefinitely. Um, and um, Bob's your uncle. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and you might be able to apply some of the ideas in there to things that you're up to. Um, if you liked it, please give us a like. Um, and for more like this, subscribe. And if you've got any comments, I'd love to hear from you. Pop them below. Thanks for watching.